up, my fellow collectors? Lynx Review is here, and I am Link, and today we are going over Funko Pop Review. Now, these are only four Funko Pops, so this video will be shorter, but I thought since Umbrella Academy Season 2 is coming out July 31st, which I will be doing reactions to those episodes, check those out when they come out, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd do a review of some um, Umbrella Academy Season 1 Funko Pops. Now, these ones just randomly showed up at a Target nearby one day. There were only four of them. Um, so it wasn't the complete line, but I love the Umbrella Academy so much that I wanted to get them. So first up, we have number 928 from Pop Television, the Umbrella Academy, Luther. Now, honestly, Luther's a pushover. I, he's the one character I hate in this series. In fact, I prefer uh, Mr. Hargreaves and um, Pogo compared to Luther. And... Mr. Hargreaves is the, literally the neglectful, uh, almost borderline abusive dad. So, see how I feel about that. So, here's Luther in all his pushover glory. Let's see, he doesn't have a base? He doesn't deserve a base. So, here we have Luther. The least powerful child of the Hargreaves Umbrella Academy. God, Luther, you could have been so much better. If only you had grown a backbone. But what can you do? So. Paint on him is actually very well. I don't see any paint um, uh, marks or any... Fade or coloring, so that is a good thing. His hands, though, are kind of strange. Some of the black bleeds into the fingers, and there's a green splotch on the front of his boot. So, definitely an 8 out of 10. I still, if you can get a better version of him and a Funko Pop, or um, if you can, um, if you like Luther from Umbrella Academy, you should get your hands on him. I'm not, I'm not regretting buying him. I like the Umbrella Academy as a whole. So. Yeah. Definitely 8 out of 10 though. So next up. We have one of my favorites. Just because he's just so. Quirky. And his dance is funny. So his number 9 929 Diego. The Kraken. The guy who never misses. And supposedly can hold his breath. Forever. There we go for him. So, Diego, do you have a base? It doesn't look like you have a base. Huh. Oh, yeah, he, I forgot he's got a scar on his face. Jesus, Diego, how many knives do you have on you at one time? So, there we have Diego. With his permanent mask. Wait. Do they have straps on their mask? I always thought their masks were like just like held in place. I can't remember. But honestly, Diego looks great. No paint fade, no scuffs, no marks on the face. On the body, the same. Perfect paint job. And he's got his trusty knife in his hand, about ready to throw it. He's always failing with those knives. Wearing his leather suit. It's very cool. Definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm a bit quieter in this video because I just did a, a reaction video to a, a Doom Patrol episode. Check that out if it hasn't already come out. Um, yeah, I'm a bit emotionally drained because it was just a big episode. And it was exciting. Check that out. That's why I'm a bit calmer in this video. That's all I'm saying. I do love these Funko Pop videos. I mean, Funko Pops. I'm not denying that. Also, it is very early in the morning. So I think I used up all my energy on those reaction videos. <sighs> His head moves. I didn't even test that with Luther. His head moves too. Alright. Both their head moves. Both of their head moves. Jesus. I'm proper grammar, Corey. 
All right, next up we have my favorite character in the Umbrella Academy, just because he's so eccentric, is number 931, Klaus. So cool. He's got his classic, I don't know, leather pants on, the pink um, scarf, a bottle of alcohol, and his goodbye tattoo on his palm facing out. Klaus, I can't wait to see you in season two. Also, on the day that I'm filming this, a trailer is supposed to come out for the new season. So I'm looking forward to that. Definitely a 10 out of 10 already. I don't care if there's any paint marks or scuffs. This is definitely going to be my favorite one. I don't care what anyone else says. Klaus, you're my favorite character in the Umbrella Academy. I actually think that uh, Klaus is like literally the third most powerful. Obviously it's Vanya, then it's Ben, then it's Klaus, then it's Allison, Diego, and Luther is arguably the weakest in my opinion. Even though he's technically physically the strongest, I think overall in the grand scheme of things, he's the weakest. Although Allison does have the potential to be a, a top contender to go up the list, but powers alone, she has to be able to speak to use her abilities. Take that away. Like Vanya did, she can't speak. She can't use her abilities. So she's a fluid uh, list on that one. But I'm getting distraction. So yeah, he's got no paint marks, no scuffs on his face or body. I like the alcohol. I wonder what kind he's drinking. He's got a tattoo of the umbrella kind of on his wrist. Wait, oh wait, they're all wearing gloves so you can't see it. But they all got tattooed except for Vanya. Yeah, so definitely a 10 out of 10 for this one. Next up, and final one, we have number 932, number 5. The boy lost in time. The boy lost in the future. I don't know. He's not really a boy anymore. He's stuck in a boy's body. He's technically a man who fell in love with a mannequin because he was lonely. Actually, he didn't even look like he was out there that long. And then he met her. I mean, that's just kind of weird. I guess he was so emotionally and mentally devastated after seeing his entire family dead. Whatever, though. With his famous cup of coffee. He likes his coffee. <laughs> oh, it was funny when he was drunk. In his, in his uniform, the brother kind of uniform. No tattoo. God, these uniforms were terrible, though. Hargreaves at least have some fashion sense. But definitely a 10 out of 10. There's no paint fade or marks. Definitely recommend buy. If you can get your hands on any of these, and you're, if you're a fan of the Umbrella Academy, definitely get your hands on them. And if you like this video, um, I know it was a bit calmer than the past ones, but if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm currently at 64 subscribers, trying to get to 100 by the end of the year. If you can help me out, that would be great. Check out my Twitter, Patreon, the works. And as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.